Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel Genoa Voice Study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos in this video we will try to do the blast analysis in unpublished data or or any other data that you have or any other plant genome that you have through tb tool and it is a very easy method to get your required gene through blast analysis in tb tool and you can use the file that you have got from uh, rnc data that uh, unigenes or genome file or whatever you have but that uh, plant genome is not available online but you have that rna sequencing result and they have given you the unigenes or protein sequence file or any other file so you can easily do the blast analysis and take your gene of interest how to do we will uh, learn from this video and we will also try to learn that how we can find the curie protein because if you want to work in any protein family for example in this video i will tell you that i want to do work on uh, heat shock factor transcription factors so how we can find first the curie protein from model plant that is the arabidopsis and we i will show you the very easy method to find out the curie proteins from arabidopsis and that proteins we will use as a curie to blast in our unpublished genome of a crop and other that blast analysis in unpublished genome and sequence extraction and then we will uh, sequence extract uh, the related to the heat shock transcription factors from the published or unpublished genome that we are using to study of our crop and also convert the genome file to protein or series file for example you only have the genome file of your plant so and you didn't have the series file and protein file so in this video i will also show you that how you can use that genome file to convert into the protein file and series file and that protein file or series file you can use for blast analysis to extract your required protein family so how to do all this let's start so first we try to find out the curie protein from arabidopsis so open the google and then write arabidopsis tear and open this first link and then go to the download and right click on gene and then here i will usually use the tear 10 genome here from here we will download some files like one is the gene description file i will try to download it and other from here you can click it here 10 blast sets and from here we can also download the that cdna file and cds file here is the that pep file and that the sequence or genomic file we will download all the file but most important is the pep file or protein file and you can download it from that tear uh, website or you can also download it from phytosome i have already have a video on that that how you can download the that genomic file or GFF file or other related file from phytosome so you can go through that video and you can easily know that how we can download it i will just give you the de demo in this here so first you need to here log in and then you can select your plant species from here first log in and then go to the genome and then uh, select your plant species that uh, Arabidopsis thaliana 
and then click on download and select your files and then you can download it from Phytodome either or from there from where you can feel easy so you can download it now we will go to open our file so here are these some file that one is that, that gene description file and other are that are the protein file and this is the protein file and this is the uh, that the uh, CDS file uh, GFF file and it is a genomic file so first we use that uh, gene description file to find out our curie protein that uh, HSF or heat shock transcription factors so we open this uh, gene description file in Excel click and drag it into here so here are the our uh, Arabidopsis IDs present in the genome of uh, Arabidopsis so here we will find out the a heat shock transcription factor so the C column here is the C column it here is the description of each gene so from here we can find it so first we align it so uh, all the data or all the genes uh, are related to the heat shock transcription factor comes in a sequence so data A to Z expand OS. so now we find out the heat shock transcription factors from this list that is uh, go H heat shock proteins but heat shock 70 here are these are the heat shock transcription factors present in the genome of Rhabdopsis and these are the IDs or transcription IDs of uh, the uh, related to the heat shot transcription factors. So now we will try to get uh, or extract the protein sequence of these genes from that protein uh, of the protein sequence of Arabidopsis and and that protein sequences of these heat shock transcription factor we will use as a curie proteins into the genome of our crop plant so first we need to extract the protein sequences of these genes so how we can do we open the we need to open the tb tool then go to sequence toolkit FASTA tools, FASTA extract. From here, set a input FASTA file. So here we can set our protein, sequence the Arabidopsis thaliana, tear 10 protein. And here we set the output. Any file you can drag it to here and then at the end we write h a t h s f file name txt and here you paste the ids that we have find out in the that excel sheet these are the find select copy and then now control v or paste and just click on start so within no second or no time it will give that extract finished all record found and extracted so we have now the protein sequences this one file of these hsf uh, that we from arabidopsis that we use as a curie but its name is way too big this one we need to remove it so if we remove it one by one so it take time so simple ways select all copy open tv tool toolkit faster tool faster to table convert then seek input paste your sequence here select the faster to table output text convert then select all copy go to excel sheet 
here you can paste so but this cell or column have that big name and this is the sequence so that first you need to copy that sequence and paste it in nro sorry cut and now you can select this uh, column then go to the text to column delimited so we give a space so when we give the space so other are divided into different columns next finish so here in this first column we have the id so we didn't need these things so we delete this now copy these to the ids and the sequence go to tb tool here select all that the fast to table convert select all and paste your that sequence that you have copy from here and now here change the that from table to faster and then convert so we have converted our table to faster and then from here select all or control all control c or copy then open your file control all and paste so now we have a simple id and save it so now we have got the our query proteins from arabidopsis now we use these query proteins into our genome of our uh, unpublished uh, genome of a crop uh, to get out the hsf protein from that genome so first we copy that and put into this genome data so here i have luckily the protein sequence file and also genome file if you didn't have the protein file or cds file and you have only the genome file so you can convert this genome file into the protein file and also into the cds file how you convert first i will show you that you can convert it like uh, here go to sequence star sequence toolkit ors prediction and here six frame translate then you can drag your genome file here and then here you can do the output directory and here write the name of your file that hm or txt and then start so it in this way you are this genome file will be converted into the protein file and also the cds file although it will take some time maybe 15 or 20 minutes after that you can use that protein file for extracting your gene uh, required genes or family genes uh, although i have my protein file so i will use this protein file to extract that uh, hsf protein from these protein files so how we go go to the blast and then two sequence file then we use here the query sequence that the query sequence that we have already downloaded from uh, rawdopsis this file so we drag it to here and here from where subject file is our protein file and here is the output where our file will be saved so here and this one is the i say hsf dot txt and in which form it will uh, be available so here are the options so we should select table and each hit or each gene that uh, which we have used as a query have three hits because when you, we use three so it uh, gives this more appropriate or more uh, how to say aligned or conserved or more of uh, related genes they will give us so then we click on start so it start the running process so give the blast and it will extract uh, our required hsf gene from the protein sequence of that crop so here is a finish and this is our results of each uh, and the each that each uh, id 
it give us the three that uh, sequences related sequences so we need to uh, open it in the excel sheet drag it to put it here in excel so we we need only these three these lines so we didn't need these so it is better to delete only remain the ids so i so i have deleted the all the unwanted uh, rows so now i ha have only the ids and that are about 45 ids we have found from our genome data uh, but there are some ids are in duplicate duplicate means they have uh, repeated so we need to delete it like here like you can see that 0544f and here also 0544f and other like this so we need to delete them so for this only you need to select this column and remove duplicate no need continue only with this b column and ok because we didn't need any other data so now we have these for 21 ids from our genome that were related to the hsfa now we need to extract the protein sequence of that IDs. So same way repeat our previous step that as we have done for the route doses. So here you can like this uh, sequence tool, give faster toolkit and faster extract. Here you can select the input file that is a protein file our protein file here is the output directory give the output directory give the name that is hmhsfa uh, protein seek dot txt here we give the ids that now we have extracted a screen copy select copy and then you can here you can paste it and then here click on start and it will give you within no second all the ids that is extract finished all record found and extracted so here this is the file that we have given here the name here is the file open it so here we have the ids of uh, the protein sequences of our required hsfa in our genome so now you can take this protein sequences and also you can uh, extract the serial sequences in this way and then you can use it for the analysis and how to do these analysis I have already told you uh, I have the series of that lecture that how to do the pro uh, uh, gene structure motive analysis sentinel analysis go and uh, whatever that were needed for the genome wide analysis so you can follow that steps and use these uh, sequences for that analysis hopefully this will help you if you have any question query please tell me please don't forget to like comment and share thank you